Hey guys, welcome to my paintings. I'm Veronica May and I prepared a new painting tutorial for you. I hope you'll enjoy it. As you can see, I've got my rainbow colors here prepared. I These are actually my leftover colors because I made a pour and I've got some leftover colors. That's why I'm doing this. But of course, you don't have to use leftover colors. You can use just, you can mix whatever colors you like. I want to show you which colors I'm using. I'm using these Luca Squirrel Studio, so titanium white, cadmium yellow, Indian yellow, also cadmium red, deep, mauve, permanent violet, veil blue and turquoise. So these are all of my colors which I will be using for my pour and I used, I mixed them with pouring medium in ratio 3 to 1, so 3 parts of pouring medium and 1 part of acrylic color. So it, it's it's good that you don't have to use that many, that much big amount of colors, so you can use more pouring medium and don't waste money. Uh, so my white, there is absolutely no silicone in my colors. I don't want too many cells in my art, just a rainbow experiment, which I will turn into something amazing. So here's my cup. Firstly, I'm gonna pour my white and I'm gonna keep a little bit, little bit of my white for later, later on because I wanna, I want to put some white on the top of all of these colors. white on the top of all of these colors and as you can see my colors are quite thick but that's for a reason I don't want them to mix too much I want them to be just in a nice lines so here we go my flip cup and let's drag it all the way that that way. Oh, so nice combinations. Let's pour this here because I don't want to waste any colors. So now I need to tilt it. That's interesting. I'm gonna use my heat gun or torch and I think it will create, it will show some cells. I need to put more gas in. So here we go. Ooh, nice cells popping. And you know what? I decided I'm gonna try to put a balloon in the middle because I don't like that there's too much turquoise in the middle part. So let's try to make some interesting 
middle part like this oh that's beautiful I always wipe my balloon like this Let's show you a little more details so you can see the beauty of these flowers. Let's make this again, gently, Oop. maybe this one again. Hey, welcome back! So my port is dry and I love how it turned out. It looks like some kind of fireworks or something. And I decided to paint some beautiful gemstones in these acrylic flowers. And as you can see, my pour cracked a little bit, but that's okay because it added a beautiful structure. I think it was because my colors were too thick, but it's okay because I love how it turned out. I also wanted to show you, I've got this little notepad where I put all of my little ideas and once I tried to doodle this um, abstraction and um, draw these gemstones and I thought that could be a cool thing to paint on this acrylic pour. So I'm gonna try to paint some interesting gemstones and make a beautiful piece of art. I prepared my colors here. These are the same colors which I used for my pores. And I also will be using this touch new pen, which is very thin, black. And I start, I will probably start here. So let's show you a little detail here. And I paint, draw nice, circle although it doesn't have to be perfect circle it's okay if it will be a different shape but i decided to paint circles so this will be a good spot for my gemstone and it will have double edge so it's more interesting so let's try to draw this edge and I'm gonna work on it later on so now it's just a little sketch and I will choose this beautiful turquoise color to start with so let's start with this turquoise I'm gonna cover all of it And I know, now I start with shading, so I'll use a little bit dark color up at the top to make it look more interesting. I love gemstones, I love their energy and I, I love their shine. So here, here's the bottom part which needs to be much lighter than the top part
Now it started to look like a nice gemstone. Now I'm gonna use white and put some reflections on the top. And also down here. Like that beautiful gemstone. And I will also work on this round thing. So I will just try to paint a nice, interesting round edge for my gemstone. And let's make it even more interesting by adding a shade around here. So I'll use this Velo Blue Add a little shade. And you know what? I also decided to paint a um, round circle around this beautiful bubble so it looks even more interesting. I'm gonna use the Dalo, dark Dalo Blue for my circle and then I start shading it. So let's paint a nice circle here. It doesn't have to be perfect circle just something which will remind you of a beautiful gemstone not a perfect circle at all but it's okay Let's make some shades and reflections here, up here. And also down here. This is your beautiful, unusual gemstone and it doesn't really show reality, it's just a pure imagination. You can create whatever you like with your imagination. So let's start making the rest of them and I'll show you the finished result soon.
Et voila, here are my amazing gemstone bubbles. And I've got one more thing to do. I would like to paint some interesting edges and I might tangle all these together and create a unique 3D effect. So I will start with these edges and then I'll try to tangle them all together. And here's the result of my Zentangle balloon pour and I just love how this turned out. I love these little gemstones, they look like eyes or something like that. I love how these turned out. Well, I hope this video was inspirational for you. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or you can also join my Facebook group which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. Thank you very much for watching and for your support, you are amazing. I can't wait to see you again. Bye.